Welcome back to another video in the Myriad Cloud Getting Started series. My name is Bella and I am here to help you launch your Myriad Cloud radio station. In this video, we will take a quick look at the music and jingle scheduling system called Myriad Schedule, that is built directly into Myriad Cloud. Radio scheduling is a complex topic, and we have many hours of tutorial videos and written documentation dedicated to the subject, which will be worth checking out in the future. But in this short video, we will introduce some of the basics to help you get started. As usual, start by logging into the broadcast.radio portal using your email and password. On the dashboard, click on the Manage Schedule button in the Broadcasting section. This will load the Schedule module on the Myriad Cloud tab. This module is used to define clocks and rules, assign clocks to hours of the week, and schedule your radio station. The media section allows you to add single or multiple audio items to the system as well as browse the content that is already uploaded. Adding content has been covered in previous videos so we will skip this bit and go straight to the clocks and rules section. First, we will take a look at clocks, what they are, how to build them, and how to assign them to hours of the week. Then we will take a quick look at some rules and finally how to schedule content for your radio station. Click on the Edit Clock Assignments option in the Clocks and Rules section. This window shows the clock assignment grids you have created for your station. Not all subscriptions allow multiple clock assignment grids so you may not see this step. To open a clock assignment grid, double-click on it. The left-hand section shows a list of all the clocks that you have on your system, but what is a clock? Put simply, a clock is a plan or framework for a single hour of content. Myriad Schedule uses it to know what it should and shouldn't schedule for any hour that the clock is assigned to. Myriad Schedule has two different kinds of clock. Simple clocks only contain the target mix of music for the hour, along with some other basic information, like how often to play a jingle. Advanced clocks offer much more control over the precise structure of the show that will be scheduled using the clock. In both cases, clocks can be set to run fully automated, called auto-fade, or in live assist mode for shows with live presenters. Let's take a look at a simple clock first. You can open a clock by double-clicking on it. The top section allows you to edit the general information for the clock such as the clock name, presenter, show title etc. You can also switch a clock between simple and advanced mode and set whether this clock is for automation, called auto-fade, or a live show, called live assist. As this is a simple clock, we specify a duration, usually one hour, and how often to play a jingle. You can also set a media item to play at the beginning or end of the hours scheduled using the clock. The mix of songs and links, or jingles, that will be scheduled is determined by the song category goals and link category goals. In this example, we are using the default category goals for the station, but if you want to alter them for this clock, click on the override the category rules toggle to allow you to manually set the mix of content. On the song category goals tab, use the sliders to adjust the mix of song categories used when scheduling hours that have this clock assigned. The pie chart to the right shows the relative mix of song categories. To do the same for links, switch to the Link Category Goals tab and adjust the sliders for the link categories. When you are finished, click on the OK button to save the changes to the clock. Now let's take a copy of that clock and create a new clock based on it. Click on the Copy Clock button in the Clock List toolbar. Let's create a clock that plays an equal mix of pop and rock music. First change the clock name to something more appropriate such as pop and rock show. We can set all of the song category goal sliders to zero using the zero all weightings button. Finally, set the pop and rock sliders to both be the same level. This will result in equal amounts of pop and rock music scheduled every hour that has this clock assigned. Don't forget to click OK to save the new clock. Click the refresh button on the clock toolbar to refresh the list and see your new clock. To assign the clock to a single hour in the week, simply drag it to the hour you want to assign it to. 
You can also select multiple hours in the clock assignment grid and assign the selected clock to them by clicking on the set to selected clock button on the clock assignments toolbar. Next, I will show you how to create a new clock from scratch, and this time we will create an advanced clock. Click on the new clock button on the clocks toolbar. Give the clock a suitable name and then click on the advanced clock button. This will convert the clock to an advanced clock and ask you whether you want the system to pre-build a clock items list for you. Unless you want to start with an empty clock, click yes. You will see that some of the simple clock items options are removed and that there is a new clock items tab. This tab contains a list of clock items that will form the structure for your advanced clock. As we answered yes to the previous question, this list will be pre-built with a basic list of clock items. In this example, the first two items in the list are set to be songs and the category is set to use goals, which means it will refer to the song category goal settings to determine which song category to pick for this item. The third item in the list is a link, but again, the category is set to use goals, which means the link category goals will be used to determine which category of link will be scheduled in this slot. To change the category that an item will be scheduled from, click on the blue link in the type column and select the category you want from the list. Myriad Schedule will now use this category when scheduling this position in the clock. Items with the category set to use goals will be scheduled according to the category weightings on the song and link category goal tabs. In this example, the song category goals are set by the default station rule set, but you can override the category goals for this clock by toggling the override category goals option and adjusting the goals to your preferred settings. You can do the same thing for your link category goals. You can add new items to the clock list by dragging from the left hand panel into the position you want to add the clock item. In this example, we have dragged an advert break from the left hand list and placed it in the clock. Continue to add clock items and settings until your clock is complete, then click on the OK button to save your clock. Don't forget, you need to assign your new clock to any hours of the week where you want it to schedule. Let's also take a quick look at a couple of the key rules used by Myriad Schedule. To list the station rule sets, click on the station rules option in the clocks and rules section. You can have multiple sets of rules and this window allows you to view and access them. Double click on the station rules set you want to view or edit. There are many rules and options available in this section, but in this video, we will focus on just two of the most important ones, the default category goals and the minimum artist or title separation. The category goals within a rule set allows you to set the song and link category goals, which will be applied to songs and links in a clock that are not set to a specific category. This will not apply to clocks that are using the category goals override option. As this rule set is also the default rule set, this effectively becomes the default category goals for all clocks unless otherwise specified. You should use the sliders to set a suitable generic mix of content for your station. The other fundamental rule you need to be aware of is the minimum separation, which can be applied to both artists and titles. In simple terms, this allows you to set the minimum time between hearing the same song on your station, or the minimum time between hearing two songs by the same artist. These rules are set per category to offer maximum flexibility. In this example, we have selected the pop song category and can see the song title and song artist's separation rules are set to 2 hours and 1 hour respectfully. This means that songs from the pop category will not be scheduled to be repeated within 2 hours. And when a song by an artist is scheduled from the pop category, another song from the same artist will not be scheduled within one hour. To change these settings, double click on the rule and set a new minimum separation time. Here we have increased the artist's separation to one hour and 30 minutes. Also note, rules can be set to be breakable, which means Myriad Schedule will try and enforce a rule but will break the rule if the only alternative is to fail to schedule a position in the log. If a rule is set to not be breakable, 
Myriad schedule will abide by the rule, even if it means an unscheduled item in the log. You can set rules to be breakable or unbreakable by double-clicking on them and adjusting the settings. Remember to click on OK to save your changes. Now that we have had a quick look at clocks and rules, the final thing I want to touch on is manually and automatically scheduling the content for your station. By default, your Myriad Cloud Station will automatically schedule just one hour ahead, which is great when you are setting up, as your clocks and content will change regularly. But once you have loaded the bulk of your content and set up your scheduling, you may want to schedule further ahead to allow presenters to review or voice track their shows. Let's look at how to manually schedule a day. In the Schedule Log section, click on the Schedule Log option, this will open the Schedule Log window. Select the time and date range you want to schedule. If you click Date Selection, you can easily set common schedule periods such as today. For now, we will not worry about any of the other options on this window. To begin scheduling, click on the Schedule button. Scheduling progress will be displayed on screen. This may take some time depending on how long you are scheduling and how many rules are applied. Don't worry, the scheduling process will not be affected even if you close your web browser. Once complete, any potential issues will be reported. You can also review the scheduled content and make any changes you wish. You can drag items around in the log, or use the Replace option on the right-click menu to replace content with similar items. Instead of manually scheduling content, you may prefer to set your Myriad cloud system to maintain a rolling schedule ahead so that you always have X days of scheduled content for review and voice tracking. Let's set our system to maintain a rolling 7 days of scheduled log. From the dashboard, click on the settings and use a security button. Under the station section, click on the station settings option. Switch to the scheduler tab and you will see the option for how far ahead to automatically schedule. Use the drop down option to select the amount you want, 7 days in this example. Make sure you click on save to save the changes. From now on, your station will maintain a rolling 7 days of log. There is a lot more to scheduling, but we hope this short video has provided a useful introduction to the topic. We have more detailed content available to help you get the most from Myriad Schedule. For more video tutorials and help articles, visit our help portal using the link below, or check out our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and happy broadcasting!